Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the Overbreak Undercover collaboration with Nike. I managed to pick these up from the Nike website. Let's have a little look. Now, these arrived today and I've already unboxed them, slipped one on. I, I flitted between a 9 and 9.5. I got these in a 9. They are quite a snug fit, but I haven't played about and loosened the laces. But because I think of the, the React um, sole being quite big and it's quite small, uh, like small amount of material on the upper, they are quite a snug fit, but very comfy nevertheless um, on that React sole. Now, I do not know that much about um, Jun, Jun, am I pronouncing it right? I just don't know, but Jun, uh, Jun Takashi, um, I know that he's uh, uh, been a fan of punk, he's in high fashion. I, myself, am not um, a high fashion person. I am a scruffy lout that likes sneakers and this is a review looking at um, GRs and and collaborations and anything that I can pick up that I want to review that I think is worthwhile reviewing. I really wanted to look at these um, and in hand they are completely different to what I thought they'd look like um, on the internet. So it's always good to have a little look up close. Now these come in a similar box to what the um, what were the, the last box I had like this was like the Sakai Waffles. Obviously that, that was a bright orange. This is a black all round with uh, white writing. It's got the undercover with Jun Takeshi on the side. And then you're met with a very nicely presented black paper inside. And then also white paper for protection. These are Always got to keep it neat. Neat as possible until it gets damaged, right. Nike Overbreak Undercover. This is black, metallic silver black. This is a UK 9, a US 10, and a women's 11.5. Now, you are hit immediately with quite a striking looking shoe. Um, the materials on this are really cool. I'll start with the material. It's like a rubbery textured, almost like armadillo. Um, almost, it's like an animal sort of like textured armor feeling um, around where the lace holes are. You have these nice thick rope cream laces, a black tongue that has Nike written in white with a red swoosh. And in the back it states Nike sports shoes are manufactured to be exact. Sorry, let's say that again. Nike sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. Nike, the Nike name and swoosh stripe are your guarantee of quality. At the back, you're met with Undercover and Jun Takashi in black print on that silver uh, leather-like material. That also follows into the silver swoosh. You have a nice detail where you've got the embroidered um, rows going into the swoosh and then you have this like sort of like mesh quite thick sort of uh, tough like a uh, durable te textured mesh behind the swoosh and then a nice sort of um, suede like feeling material around the toe box and then you have balance on the right and chaos on the left. So apart from those two um, words being uh, different on the toe boxes, uh, the, the shoes seem to be exactly the same from left to right from what I've seen so far. And now to the bit that I am very unsure about. So the React sole at the bottom is just massive. It looks big in pictures, it's what I just wanted to have a look at and it in hand is absolutely ginormous, it's ridiculous. Um, I really like the, the colours used and I like the toe box. I like that it almost has that Marjard effect on the toe box. And then you've got this really soft React material in that sort of Oreo sort of speckled look. And then you've got like a harder sort of rubber plastic. So you've got durability on the heel and on the toe box. 
Now, I'm just slipping them on earlier, they are very comfortable through that sole. But as I said, they were quite tight. I suppose it might be a little bit, it's not that it's narrow, it's just quite flat. Um, you feel like your toes are quite pressed up against the toe box. But all round, I think it's a really cool concept, but it's just not gonna be for me. Um, it will be a very durable shoe. It will get dirty inside because you have a white sock liner, even though you have the black insole with the white text. And it looks like the tag is attached to the insole, which Nike seems to do quite a lot recently. Yeah, me personally, I don't think I could rock these. Um, even though they are comfortable, they're just not enough to sway me. I really like the touches, like the chaos and balance. I really like the embroidered uh, rose through it. And the whole upper, really, I really like, but it's just this React sole. It's one of the main reasons I didn't go for the colorway of these that look like the Marjards, because I just really don't like the sole, um, as comfortable as it may be. But yeah, what are your opinions? Did you pick these up? Do you really like them? Do you hate them? I'm gonna do an on feet of these, uh, see what they look like on feet. I could always change my opinion, but from uh, glancing at them earlier, I don't think it's gonna change. But yeah, hope you like the review. Um, thank you for watching. Let's go to the on feet. admit that although I'm not that keen on the look these are so comfortable comfy <laughs>